All right, brand new day, brand new tutorial. Today, we're going to look at our hunger bar. If you look down here, you'll notice that we're extremely hungry. We have no food, and we don't want to go outside um, unprotected, so early on in the game, you're going to want to craft yourself a sword. But this is not a tutorial on weapons. I just want to have one with me. So to make food, there are several different ways to make food. One requires a sword where you just go out and kind of kill animals and then you can cook them up and eat them or we can use a hoe and actually plant some plants and I'll show you how to do that or we can gather up some natural resources and eat those so I'll try and show you a little bit of all of those today the first one I want to show you is that you can see over in the grassland there over here there are some cows I'm not gonna kill the cows cuz um, cows are rare and they are very very good to have around because they're good for leather and stuff so what we'll do is we'll eventually corral them together and and eat them up that way and we will kill them but first we're gonna capture them so we can breed them and make sure that there's some more what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and gather some seeds oh there, did you see the seeds pop out of that one? Every so often when you hit some grass, you'll get seeds out of them. Oh, there they are. You see the seeds right there? You want to gather those up. You can hold down the mouse button, and when you turn around, you'll hit kind of all the grass in the area. want to get as many seeds as we can here. And this is a great grass area to gather up a bunch of seeds. Now, the grass will not grow back. So you want to use your seeds wisely but if we make a garden gardens when we harvest the wheat will actually produce seeds again so we'll have lots of seeds all right 10 11 that's good now to plant wheat I have the hoe with me what you need to do is find a plot of grass or dirt that is pretty close to water it doesn't need to be right against the water some plants need to be next to the water, but this does not. And you just take the hoe. All right, and <laughs> sorry, you grab the hoe, and then you will right click, and that kind of clears an area. Like I said, it doesn't have to be right next to there. You'll see the soil getting moist, which is really good. And then you take your seeds, and again, whoops, you right mouse click, and you'll plant your seeds. This will grow into wheat, and we can use wheat for making bread. We can also use wheat for attracting animals like the cows that we want to attract them and get them kind of caught in a pen so that we can breed them and kill them when we want. So we have room for one more seed but we don't need necessarily to plant all of that area. Anyway, so that is a small wheat patch. Now what I did for this tutorial was that I actually planted one earlier and you can see it over here you don't want to walk on your wheat patch because you will kill your plants but I planted a nice kind of little patch of it here so you can see what it'll look like as it progresses so that's the the initial seeds are what we planted then they get a little bigger a little bigger this one here is almost ready to harvest it'll have black dots at the top when it's ready to harvest and I'll show you how to do that you just basically left mouse click on it when you're when it's ready but there is some wheat kind of in a patch that's a little bit farther along now the other way of getting food that I'm going to show you is gathering food we're fortunate enough I did some exploring to have right around the corner a ready supply of uh, food a food source that's basically already ready to go here we go and that is mushrooms look at that yum 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 now to get food out of these mushrooms you need to have both types of mushrooms and we are really really super lucky that in this world grab all the mushrooms we have the red mushrooms and then the brown mushrooms are also right there you can see them they're a little bit more rare we don't want to waste them and squander them there's ways to make mushrooms kind of last a little longer but there seem to be lots of the red mushrooms not as many of the brown depends on which world you're in which one is more 
prevalent, but we definitely need some of each, and we will be able to make some food. Oh, don't want to lose that mushroom. All right, so like I said, not a lot of the brown mushroom. Is that some more? No, those are flowers up there. We've got some sheep over here, which is really good. Can't really do much as far as eating with sheep. There are several cows. That's good. And like I said, you can kill a cow. You can kill pigs, and you can kill chickens and get food out of that. But for right now, we're going to eat some mushroom soup maybe some hay will be ready by the time we get back. We can be gathering more seeds as we go. It's pretty easy to gather seeds up. That grass won't grow back though, so when you do clear an area, that's pretty much it for that area. Let's. Um... Now sometimes you want to build a nice fence around it so the animals won't trample your food. I am not too concerned about that right now, but if this were my long-term place for residence, I would probably take a little bit more care. The wheat is not ready yet, so I can't show you the wheat. But what I will do is, oh, we're going to need some wood. So I am going to punch a tree. I don't have my axe with me. get just a little bit of wood I'm hoping by the end of this tutorial that wheat will have grown up so it can give us a little bit show us what we can do with wheat you actually need three pieces of wheat to be able to build anything that you can work with All right. So we've created some wood, and what you can do with wood is you can make a bowl like that. Okay, that'll make four bowls. And if you put mushrooms, both types of mushrooms, in a bowl, it doesn't matter which order you put them in or where you put them in in the crafting table. You could actually even do that in your personal inventory crafting table. You will get some mushroom stew. Now, I don't want to use the last mushroom. I want to keep at least one of the brown mushrooms. But to eat that, you'll put it in your hand, and then you just hold the right mouse button. Boom, and you see a lot of your, your food has been replenished. Not all of it has been replenished, which is too bad. Because your hearts, if your hearts start going down, they don't regenerate unless you have a full stomach. So, we might just have to go kill a cow. There are quite a few of them around. <sighs> just bite the bullet. I don't like killing innocent animals, but goodbye. Okay, I just killed him. I got some steak. Now, I can eat the steak raw. And that will give me a little bit of energy back. But I am going to, I want more energy from that beef, so I'm going to actually cook it. This is a good thing for you to have. Um, let's see. What? I'm just going to grab some cobblestone. I've been digging some other cobblestone. So you can mine your own cobblestone, but you need nine pieces of it. And I don't know that we have the time to, to demonstrate that. So there's our furnace. And you can put your furnace pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to put it here so it's out of the way. And your furnace will cook the raw beef. And you can put anything here for a fuel source. So you can put like oak slabs or oak um, sapling there. You can cook up a sapling. That doesn't have very much fuel. You can also put some wood planks in there if you want to burn those. Again, not the best source of fuel, but they work. You can also cook up, um, if we hadn't built 
torches with all of our coal. If you have some coal, you can cook that up as well. And then you take the steak and you would eat it just like the other one. Boom. Oh, now I'm full. My food supply is full. I'm going to take my sword in case I come across anything nasty. Ooh, it looks like the wheat is ready. Oh, good. Okay. So there's the wheat right there when it's ready. It looks like that. Like I said, it's got a couple black spots on the top of it. And you just hit that. And you will get some seeds, but you'll also get some wheat from it. Once you get three pieces of wheat, you can craft that into bread. Like I said, you can also use the wheat. If you hold it out in front of you, the cows will follow you. But um, we're not doing that at night time. No, thank you. Let's close up this gap so that we are safe for the night. All right. There we go. So we did get some wheat. Like I said, you need three pieces of wheat. You put it in your crafting table, one, two, three, and that will give you bread that you can also eat. So those are the types of food that you can do. Having a garden of wheat is really nice. You, I don't know if you noticed, but when you harvested the wheat, you also got some extra seeds as well as the wheat. So it's basically like an unending supply of food. You can also, when you catch the cows, if you feed the cow some wheat by clicking on the cow with your right mouse button, the two, if you click on two cows, then they'll have a baby cow. So again, that's kind of an unending source of food that you can get through that as well. And they'll give you leather. So that's why I didn't want to kill off too many of the cows. But I did want to show you three types of food. The mushroom soup with the bowl. The wheat that can be made into bread. Sorry, we didn't have enough wheat to actually do that. And then the meat that we have already eaten. So that is about food. Again, you if your food bar is full, then you have your heart regenerates. When you get hurt, it will regenerate. And that's what you want. You want to always keep your food bar full. All right. So happy hunting. Hopefully that's helpful for you in getting food and making sure that you have the nutrition you need.